What is up guys, Wolfgang here. So today I want to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. Now these earbuds are pretty old now, but I recently wanted to give them a shot, so let's get into it. Now real quick, Samsung did not sponsor this video. I bought these buds with my own money. Everything in this video are my thoughts and my thoughts alone. Now these buds came out three years ago, so they definitely have had a couple updates and so on and so forth. They aren't for everyone, I'll say that much. And I'll talk more about it in just a second. So first of all, let's talk about the design of the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. Now these earbuds are really different to any other earbuds I've basically ever seen. Now now there's, there's actually some earbuds that are similar to it, but not exactly the same. These earbuds have a very different design in the sense that they're not in-ear per se. They're kind of, I want to say, well, I guess they're sort of inside ear, but not deep inside. Like if we're comparing them, for example, to some Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, these are meant to go deep into your ear to, you know, make better sound, more better noise canceling. These only kind of dip in there barely, something similar to AirPods. They kind of like just sit in your ear and I'll show some pictures on Samsung's website so you get an idea. However, what surprised me most is when we're talking about sound. So, as these don't go deep into your ear, you would assume sound quality isn't the greatest. And uh, you can also see the speakers, well I, guess, I hope you can see them, I really can't tell. Are There's a couple distributed around the earbud and yeah, you don't really expect much from an earbud like this but I was pleasantly surprised. They are a little bit muffled sometimes in specific music with already a lot of bass, but they sound amazing. The point is they have bass, which is crazy to think of. I expected these to be very bland, very, very uh, lacking a bass, and no, they, they actually do have a bass. Now, ANC on these, which it does have ANC, is only to take off like the tip of the top of the sound, you know, for high-pitched noises it doesn't really do much for AC and stuff like that. It does take a little bit off of it just to reduce the amount of sound from AC, but it's definitely not meant for noise canceling. If you want noise canceling, you should get the Buds 2 Pro or the uh, WF-1000XM5 videos for those up here. But yeah, these are not meant for ANC. These are meant for more awareness while still listening to what you want to listen to. Now, one thing to mention is that the sound quality can vary quite a lot depending on how you wear them. So, as you can tell, there's not really a specific way to put it in your ear. So it does, you can either jam it in too deep or have it too loose, which makes it sound very uh, differently. Volumes vary a lot as well, depending on how well you fit it in your ear. So you do have to make sure you fit it in correctly. Now, what I do really love about these earbuds is the wearing them like the day-to-day -day on your computer. So for example, if I am just watching YouTube videos on my computer and I want to hear if, for example, the Uber arrived or, you know, the Uber Eats, or if I want to hear if someone knocks the door, that's an even better example. These earbuds are the perfect mix. Because for example, with the Galaxy Buds Pro, I could turn on um, noise pass-through, but of course it always sounds a little bit different to the outside. With the Galaxy Buds Live, it sounds just like normal. If we turn off the ANC, which only takes up the tip of, which only takes the tip off of loud sounds, but by using these and turning off ANC, I can hear everything normally and still hear my YouTube video with great quality. These earbuds are amazing in terms of comfort, as they don't heat your ear up at all, as they don't, they don't close anything off really. So you know, it does have its trade-offs with sound quality. But the point is. For what they're made for, they're amazing. So you can use these for a really long time without your ears getting hot at all. Sometimes, depending on your ear canal, your ear canal can get irritated by earbuds. This doesn't happen with these ever. And like I said, the audio quality does suffer a bit, but it's not as much as you would think. These sound good and they have advantages over normal earbuds. Now these things do have a wingtip, that's what they call it, this little rubber thing here on the end, which I personally don't really find does much. Um, I think it's supposed to hook onto a part of your ear, but I haven't been able to make it work. The point, it's, it's, 
it may work for you, it depends on your ear. Now then, I did buy a couple extras for these earbuds, but I did end up returning them. I bought a couple of silicone covers for the ear earbuds, which was supposed to increase the noise isolation and the, well, in return also increase audio quality and perhaps even comfort. That was my thought at least. However, after drawing them on, they're really hard to put on and due to the intricate or not normal, not easy to, to design, I guess, um, where the speakers are, it becomes a little bit hard to put them on perfectly so you don't block any of these off. So yeah, those were a bit difficult to use. And even when trying to put them back in the case, it made it difficult. So I decided to return those, even though they're very cheap and you could give them a try if you want to. But these sound and feel great as they are. And it's, you know, it's just easier to use as they are right now. Now, in terms of price, they're really cheap. You can find them on sale everywhere because pretty much nobody, these, these didn't blow up as much as some people expected. I personally was waiting for a second generation, but been three years so I figured they probably won't release a second generation so I wanted to give these a try. I bought mine on $75 on Amazon. Honestly for that price, really great earbuds. Once again for their dedicated purpose, not for commuting, not for traveling, for staying at home and wanting to be aware of your surroundings. If you go outside with these and you're going for a walk perhaps it, it works but you might have to raise the volume a bit more than you'd like to to be able to hear your content. But you're always aware of your surroundings, which I really enjoy these earbuds for. Now, so in conclusion, these earbuds are really great. They're really cheap, especially compared to, you know, noise canceling earbuds, even though they're not directly comparable. They were really fun to test with, to play around with, um, especially by their low price. Honestly, at the beginning, I was thinking of returning them because I did try to use them as my main earbuds, as, you know, my Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, but you, you can't compare these two directly because they're made for very different circumstances. And when I started to appreciate what the Galaxy Buds lives are great at, that's when I realized where their value is. And that's why I decided to keep them because they're great at, you know, what I just said, um, being aware of your surroundings. There's no live or, you know, noise pass through thing that can beat these. If you're curious, you can buy them and return them if you don't like them, but always be sure to keep it in mind that these are not made to be compared with noise cancelling earbuds. They're more of a um, background awareness kind of earbud. The Galaxy Buds Live are amazing at their specific use case. So thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, the sub button if you want to watch more videos like this. And well, ask me any questions you have about these earbuds in the comments, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day.